Hey, what's up guys? Hey, I just got this message from my Facebook and I felt compelled to make a quick note because, hey, if you're struggling with real estate and you're struggling looking how to lock up deals and or get deals, I just wanna give you a quick context of like what not to do when you approach someone because it's not that I don't wanna help anybody, is that's all I'm doing. It's, I'm fully, I almost don't even have a job anymore. I'm just invested in, for free, our community, believe it or not. So listen, if you got a deal, or you think you have a deal, please don't send me five, three to five Zillow links saying none of them are locked up yet. Which one should I do? You're asking me to underwrite and do all your, your work for you. So that's, that's absurd, right? What I would ask you is, what do you need? What is the problem you're getting hung up on? So are we having a problem with uh, potentially of, hey, I don't know if this is a too high of a number of how to lock this up on a wrap? Well, first of all, you shouldn't just be looking on market for deals just to look for a wrap. That was asinine, right? We typically get deals and then what you look for is the exit strategy. What can I do with this property? This seller is willing to sell me this property at a discount potentially. What do those terms look like? If the terms are too high for, let's say, um, anyone to make money as a long-term rental where the entry fee in the, the mortgage value does not make sense because the mortgage value is way higher than what you can get for rent, well, that doesn't make sense for a long-term rental. Hey, maybe it's a short-term or a mid-term rental. All right, we look at that avenue. The other thing is, that's when you look at it and you go, hey, is this a wrap? Maybe this is a wrap. And a wraparound mortgage, that's another video, we can look at that, but that's another exit strategy. So what I would say is, are you having a problem with the question of, hey, do you have a subject to deal possible or a seller finance? Is that even possible? Is the agent or the seller even willing to do that? Okay, check that box, good, they are. What's the mortgage value? What's the interest rate? What's the entry fee? That's the, that's the secret, I think, the entry fee. If that entry fee and that seller says, hey, I want $100,000 for that $200,000 house, you want $100,000 down payment, and then I'll, I'll give you the $100,000 subject to loan maybe, or a seller finance loan, probably not gonna make sense for a rep. Not gonna make sense for much, unless it's a big old luxury property or it's a money maker. Uh, so guys, do some homework first before you approach anybody and before you try to, you want me to spend my time on your deals and your problems before you do any of the hard work. That doesn't make much sense, does it? So all due respect, we will help. I'm helping, love helping. So guys, go take some action, go make some mistakes, go lock up some contracts, be ethical in what you're doing. If you're gonna, if you don't know what you're doing, ask for maybe a, a small LOI or a, and a letter, a LOI is a letter of intent. Say, hey, do you mind if we, you know, can we, agree to give me 48 hours, give me five days. Maybe you could try to sell it, maybe you can get the terms, but you need the mortgage values, you need the mortgage statements, you know, what do they want, how much money down, what do they owe, all the good things, solar liens. Know all the facts first, bring the facts in, and I'd much rather you even get it under contract. So hey, thank you so much. I want you to just know how to do good business and how to approach people, that's all.